I'll be showing you step by step how to send newsletter emails for your Shopify store. I'll be taking you through everything step by step here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. So first off, let's talk about what app I'll be using. I'll be using the Shopify email app here. Now it's up to you whatever app you want to use. The process is going to be very similar. The reason why I'm using this app is that it has a very generous free plan where your first 10,000 emails a month are free. After that, it's $1 for every thousand emails per month. It makes it super easy to set up. So let's dive into everything step by step here. Now I already have the app installed for you. It should stay installed if you don't have it already on your Shopify store. But if you click install, you just have to accept the permissions quickly and it's gonna redirect you to the same screen I'm going to right now. So this is gonna bring me to the Shopify email overview. Here I can see my recent drafts for emails, I can see my different campaigns I've sent and my different automations set up. Now to note, if you've just installed this, I would head to settings in the bottom left here. This is under email for the Shopify email app. Scroll to the bottom and then under template branding, you should go and set up your logo, your store name and your typography, as well as your default colors. This is gonna make it so much easier rather than having to edit every single email for this. So if I click exit, head back to email, let's go and create our email newsletter. So to do so, we'll head to create campaign in the top right of the overview page. And there are quite a few pre-built templates in the Shopify email app. Now I'm gonna head to templates, newsletter, is gonna give us a few pre-built ones. I'm just gonna select this generic newsletter template and it's gonna open that up. I get a quick preview of what it looks like. I'll hit select. And here it's gonna open up the Shopify email editor. I can go and customize things such as the subject line, who it's sending from, the preview text, as well as all the content in the email. This is taking a second to load here, so I'll just wait. So once that has loaded, I can see first off who to send this newsletter to. I can select all subscribers. There's also gonna be different segments here, such as email subscribers or customers who haven't purchased. I'll leave this as all subscribers for now. Next, we can customize the subject. So it's gonna depend on what your content is about, but let's say this is educational content. Maybe it's a camping store, so the educational content might be how to have your best camping trip yet. I'll remove those capitals there just to make it a little more formal. Next, I can customize each component. So there's the pre-filled template here. If I just click on any of the elements, I can change the title, have your best camping trip. For each of these elements, if I click on it, I can see a sub menu on the right hand side. That's gonna let me edit each section here, such as the font size, text color, or the alignment. I can remove any of these pre-built sections by clicking on it, then hitting the trash icon. And I can add any new sections in the bottom right by clicking add section and then selecting the type, whether that's text, button, image, or any of these pre-built elements here. Say I select a divider, I'm gonna add that in, it's gonna show me a sub menu on the right hand side. And if I hover over the six dots, I can drag this anywhere on the page. It's gonna be up to you on what exactly you want to include in your newsletter. I have another video on the channel as well that's gonna show you how to quickly write newsletters to send out to your customers and potential customers. But overall, once you've customized this content here, we can preview this on the mobile device in the top right. I would also recommend sending a test. It's gonna list your email here for your store. And so, so when you send the test, you can see what it looks like on your actual device as some formatting might change. After that, we'll click review, although I'm not able to for this store as my current plan does not include Shopify email as I'm on the development plan, which is not a paid plan. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. There's your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, ad spend, VAT, and much more that you need to keep track of. And that's where our sponsor Profit Cal comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on all your different important metrics so you can truly understand your store's profitability. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, Google, and TikTok. And it's gonna allow you to make smarter business decisions as you're gonna have true insight into your store's performance. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. It's available on the Shopify app store and there's a link in the description below to access the app listing directly. You can also search for it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc. 
and then looking for this logo in the top left here. As mentioned, there's a 15 day free trial, so you make sure you check it out for yourself. But from there, you simply have to select when to send it, if you wanna do that now, or if you wanna schedule to a later date. Once that's set up, you can select it under campaigns, you can see the status, you can get stats such as the click-through rate and how many sales were generated from that campaign. So overall, the Shopify email app really makes that a much easier process to create campaigns and get a lot of different customizations options, letting us send newsletters to our subscribers. This is going to conclude the video here. If you enjoyed it, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.